Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic, and today I'm going to attempt to build a floating segmented water bridge that is capable of carrying the weight of this vehicle, a classic that I haven't really used that much in a while, which is actually made of mostly concrete and metal, so it's going to be a pretty heavy vehicle to try to support on water. But I think it would be really, really cool to see a segmented bridge that kind of flexes and bends with uh, the weight of something traveling on top of it and the goal is going to be able to create a bridge long enough and hopefully not too laggy uh to be able to drive this vehicle from here and then over to the other side this thing this is actually a lot wider than i thought it was this is a lot longer of a distance than i expected it was going to be so this is obviously going to come with its own challenges when it comes to building this bridge i mean with scrap mechanic physics and the way things work i guess i kind of could just drive my way underwater but let's pretend we're actual humans and um, this would kill us. By the way, in case you haven't noticed since yesterday's video, I don't know if you guys saw it, but um, my lighting was a little bit weird. One of my lights was broken in yesterday's video, but I ended up fixing it. So things should look more normal today. It turned out I just, um, I just forgot to turn the light on, so. That's why things looked a little bit different and sounded a little bit different as well. So if you want to see what I look like with less lighting, then go ahead and check out yesterday's why did video after this. Okay, now to the task at hand, which is a segmented floating water bridge. This is giving me flashbacks to the suspended mountain base days when I was building the suspended bridges and uh, the game didn't like those very much. And the method of building these is probably going to be somewhat similar, but I figure I'll do bubble blocks for the borders of the bridge and wooden blocks for the main part that we're going to be driving on. And you know what? I should probably have this vehicle spawned in for size reference. All right. So we're going to fit on here with our wheels. We should probably be at least 16. I, I guess we could deal with that. Yeah. We're going to make it 16 wide and a little bit longer for each section because of how far we have to go. If we have a bunch of sections bunched up very, very close to each other, it's just going to increase the lag. So if we can keep the flex points of this bridge a longer distance away from each other, we'll have less and they won't be as close to, uh, lag with each other. I also think it would look pretty cool to have it treaded kind of like this with uh, the holes, kind of like I did with my, sus uh, not suspension, my drawbridge in my survival world. I don't know why, I just think this kind of looks cool. It adds a nice texture to the bridge. So let's see, how does this fare as far as being able to support the weight of this? I haven't even used any bubble blocks yet. This is just pure wood, which is buoyant. All right, here we go. Let's just weld the bottom of the car right there. And nope, <laughs> that is definitely not enough to support the weight of this car. We're just gonna add a couple layers of bubble block on the outside and a hope, just hope that this is gonna be enough to make this thing float. Cause I think it makes sense that every segment should by itself be able to support the weight of the car. All right, now I got some bubble blocks on this thing. Can this save us? Oh no, this is not looking good people. This is really, really not looking good. This car is very, very heavy. I don't know why I chose this car. I could probably right now just decide to use a smaller car and it would work. No, 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 no. I'm not giving up that quick. I'm just gonna line the whole bottom of this as well. We're just gonna need a lot more bubble block. This is all. That should be a lot more buoyancy. Please, please float. It's not floating. Why doesn't it float? All right, guys, I realized my mistake. My mistake was using tier one wood instead of tier three wood. Tier three wood is a lot more buoyant than tier one wood. So we're gonna go with this. <gasps> it rises. It actually rises. All right, and then what is this like? Oh my good, if I take this off, ready for this? Pew! <laughs> Oh, it's it goes too high though. I'm gonna have to do some. This is this is a lot more difficult. It, it, there's a lot more fine tuning to this than I thought there was going to be. I have a vision of this in my head, and right now it's not matching the vision, so I gotta make some adjustments. Okay, I think this is the best I'm gonna be able to compromise with. As you can see, it still is a little bit above the water here, but uh, when we have the car on it, it's slightly negatively buoyant, but. Remember, this is also going to be attached to other things, which are going to be very, very buoyant. So I think they'll, the segments will end up helping each other out. And it also gives us an incentive to maybe not spend too much time on the bridge and letting it sink. It's a little bit of pressure, you know? Okay, so now I have a floating bridge segment and I have to make this modular, which means I want to make this so I can just easily connect them together with the weld tool uh, in a way that's going to be symmetrical and attached to a loose bearing. 
Okay, this should be it right here. All I gotta do is weld this point to one of these painted blocks. Just like this. And now when we take it off the lift, it should be flexible, bendy, both directions, yes. And it should just be a one block gap, so it shouldn't interrupt the flow of the aesthetic of the bridge at all. So now I can just repeat this. All right, so place your bets now. How many segments is it gonna take to get from this side of the canal to the other side? This is three. I'm gonna guess like 12 to 14. I might just be completely embarrassing myself and be way off there, but uh, let's do it. Let's see how close it is to 12 or 14. Does that look that? Nope, nope, this is not. My estimate was incorrect. This is 12, it's gonna be like, oh man, it's like almost double that it feels like. How many more? It kind of sits pretty nice though, doesn't it? I like this. So I guessed up to 14, this is gonna bring the total up to 18. <gasps> it fits. But how close? How close? Oh my goodness, this is like nothing. I can probably spawn another six and just put it over here. I'm gonna do that. There's another six. This is 24 now and we're still not there. Oh, my estimate was so bad. All right, no way we can fit another six though, right? <gasps> what? What? What is this? This is another six? This bridge is getting too much. This is actually getting too much. This is it. We have one more. So, uh oh, oh, that's not aligned, is it? I messed. Oh, I messed up somewhere. I messed up right here. I messed up bad. Yep, I I welded the wrong weld point on that one. Don't worry, easy fix. All right, ready? Check out this life hack here. I can stand on the bridge while I weld it, and it stays under me, and it stays in the right spot. Okay, yeah, we're in the right spot. We're good. All right, so I should be able to spawn in one more segment here. I should probably lift this up with the lift. Weld this on. Uh. All right, and now it goes from one side to the other. The only thing is uh, we don't really have easy access up and down, but we can probably use some ramp. Ooh, I think you know what perfect, the perfect thing? The warehouse ramps. I think they are four blocks. Oh, wait, there are more. Oh, this is only three. One, two, three. Oh. Hey, let me go check the other end. All right, I'm at the other end now. I'm just going to see, does this detach? Oh, it does. For the sake of simplicity, I might actually add warehouse ramps, but they're just going to be sticking down a block. This fits pretty nice. That's not bad at all. That really works. All right, and then we can do the same thing on the other side, and we'll have... We'll have done it. It's just a matter of can we drive across it with this heavy vehicle? All right, there we go. Now we got both sides and I left my vehicle on the opposite side. You know what? Let's just spawn in another one. All right, is it going to lag out my game or sync or what do you think is going to happen with this? I have no idea what's going to happen. Here's another question. Do you think we can get some bots to follow me across it? That would be kind of cool. All right. Well, uh, we're off to a good start. Oh, no, we actually are off to a good start. Oh, except for the fact that we're bottoming out. Come on, vehicle. Come on. Come on, car. You can do it. Once we're on, I think we're going to be good. <gasps> oh, no, we are not good. The the, <laughs> the spikes in the front. There we go. <gasps> oh, no, this is so heavy. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Why is this so... I thought this was going to do so much better. This is working so interesting. Oh, this is awesome. I love this. This is really cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's so hard to keep control. It's so hard to keep control. I love watching the waviness of it, though. But it, ah, it's hard to... Yeah, I'm trying to keep control while looking and absorbing observing the uh, amazingness that this is. I'm, like, at a loss for words right now. Oh, that was awesome. And now it's kind of messed up at the end, but it's equalizing itself out. Wow. That was really, really cool. All right, I'm gonna do this again, but I'm gonna keep looking in the direction that I'm going this time. And oh, this thing does not have the ground clearance it needs. These are definitely not doing me any favors. They look cool, but functionally, they're just getting in the way. All right, here we go. This should be much better. Oh my goodness, look at that, so much better. All right, and go. So awesome. This is how I feel like a water bridge should work, except maybe just have a little bit more buoyancy so it doesn't actually sink your car into the water. But of course, I'm gonna, on the next attempt, I'm gonna drive to the middle and I'm just gonna stop. I wanna see what happens if I just stop. But look at that. 
We've now driven the car across the water much faster than if we were to go underwater and uh, not make any sense when it comes to physics and human life. All right, here we go. This time, I'm going to be stopping myself. Oh! This is fine. No, this is fine. I got this. Oh, that that's actually not... That kind of gives a little bit of a preview of what's going to happen when we stop. All right, where's the middle? It is really hard to stay straight on this bridge. I feel like this is kind of the middle. Let's actually put ourselves completely on one segment. There we go. You know what? This still works. I mean, the wheels are underwater. Your car might flood a little bit, but my character can totally breathe. The engine's out of the water. You know, if there was exhaust on this thing, then the exhaust might be under the water a little bit. But this is working just fine. Look at, in fact, it's eat. What? Why did it? How? What? That doesn't make any sense to me. We were sinking. We were heavy, and now we're not as heavy. Is it because of the joints? Oh, the joints are actually kind of like they make you go down further because they dip the whole bridge down at the apex. So you're actually much more secure. You'll gradually rise if you're on a single segment like that. That's really nice. But then as soon as you get to a joint, it just bends the whole bridge down, lowering the ends. And then that just kind of has a ripple effect going through a literal, like literal ripple, ripple effect. This is so awesome. I love this. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I'm totally falling off now. <laughs> it's really hard to control while you're looking backwards and trying to drive forwards and the bridge is flexing underneath you. All right, so I definitely want to try a couple of different vehicles and then we're going to try to bring some bots across as well. Oh, this thing looks so awesome. I am so proud of this. This is working amazingly. This is way more successful than my suspension bridges back in the day. Here's a fun test. I actually have no idea how heavy these explosives are. Oh, this might be too wide. <gasps> this is not a fun test. Because if I explode, the bridge explodes and I'll have to build it again. But if I put it on a lift to save it... Oh no, I couldn't do this anyway. It's too wide. It's not too wide. Why am I doing this? This is so unnecessarily risky. If this thing blows this bridge up, because this is all really not durable material. These things, this will get shredded in an explosion. But I did not save this bridge. And saving it means taking it out of the water, which would also be a hassle. But this is working. This is working way better. This is definitely way lighter than my concrete vehicle. Oh, 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 oh. What have I done? Why did I... I knew this was a bad idea. Why did I do it? I don't even want to look at the damage. I do not want to turn around and look at this damage. <sighs> I knew it. I knew it when I was going into it that this was a bad idea. And I just kept going. Okay, well, I guess... I guess we have to look at what we've done. You know what? This doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. It looks like this side... No, not completely intact. We've lost, like, a couple of segments. Just a couple of segments. We could probably fill it in without being too much of a hassle. I'll have to get rid of that segment over there, though. It looks like two or three segments got taken out. I really have a terrible sense of scale with this for whatever reason. All right, so there goes that. Yeah, it looks like two more segments. Oh, no! <laughs> what did I do? Why am I like this? What happened here? How did I not see this was a thing? Okay, I've done it. It actually was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but I have repaired the bridge. It is welded again from one side to the other, and now I'm going to save this thing, and I have an idea on how to spawn... Look at this. I have an idea on how to spawn this in, but it's not easy. It's not... It's not a convenient object to work with. All right, I just counted all the segments up because I realized I never actually gave a final count when I built it, and this is... From my estimate of 14 segments maximum, uh, it's actually 30 segments. So more than twice as much as I thought it was going to be. Only uh, 23,000 bubble blocks and 20,000 uh, wood blocks though. So yeah, we're gonna save this as a floating bridge. So here's my plan on welding this thing. We need to make a high beam that goes above sea level a decent amount. And then all we gotta do, I need to go to the left side of the bridge. All right, so then I just gotta grab the left side of the bridge with the weld tool. And I should be able to weld it somewhere. Oh, let's uh, get out of the way of it. 
So somewhere around here. Let's give it a couple blocks clearance. Just like that. And it should reach. I hope that reaches the other side. I have no idea if this worked. And we can disconnect this side. And I think we have a functioning bridge. Let's spawn in another vehicle and drive across it. This time, not an explosive vehicle. All right, how about this thing? This is a metal car. This should be really, really light in comparison to what I've driven over it already. I'm really glad I put this entrance right in the middle of a bush. All right, there we go. Look at that. This is no problem compared to the mad scrap car. All right, let's just go as fast as I can. Oh, no. <gasps> All right, this, this car is not a good car. This is really not a good car for controllability. It's just small and compact, and that's why I like it. Okay, does it reach? I don't know if this... Oh, no, please don't! Please don't, please don't, please don't. Please, 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 please. Oh, wait, I can't put this on the bridge. Oh, no. Well, I'll just walk the rest of the way. But does this reach? Does it actually reach? It's really close. It, uh... It's really close. That's all I can really say. It's really... It's really close. All right, now I want to test, will bots follow me across the bridge? Which means I'm actually going to have to move this closer to this side now. But that should actually be pretty simple. All I should have to do is this. And then put that right here. There we go. I think that should work. Now let's start with a couple of greenies. The, hay the greenies are okay with water. The hay bots do not like water. Will they follow me up here? Or are they just going to attack the ramps? Oh, they're following me. They're actually following me across the bridge. This is a successful bridge. I didn't know if the bots were going to do it. Look at this. All right, hold on. I kind of want to, um, uh, uh, pop capsules. All right, and, uh, aggro all. Come after me. Will the, ta will the, uh, will the far, the hay bots, will they follow me? <gasps> They're coming across the bridge. No, 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 don't, don't attack the bridge. They stopped. They stopped on the first segment, which is, in you know what? Let me back up closer to them. I'm just gonna run these guys over. Excuse me. <laughs> that was easy. Where are you guys going? I gave you my cordon. No. Oh, why do I keep jumping out thinking I can put this thing on a lift out here? I can't. All right, that is really weird. They literally gave up on chasing me across this bridge. It could be from their fear of water. Oh, that could be it right here. Look at that. I wonder if that is it. Where are you guys going though? They're literally just walking away. They're like, we don't have the time for this. This is not this is not what we signed up for. We don't get paid for this. All right, do I have to do aggro all again? They literally don't care anymore. All right, I'm going to turn aggro off. And then I'm going to turn aggro back on. And then I'm going to do aggro all again. They don't care. They do. They're so done. Oh, now they're coming after me. Kind of, maybe. Do they care now? Are they gonna follow me now? All right, let's see if they actually follow me this time. All right, they're creeping up, but there's water now. Oh, it's working. It's working. I thought the hay boss were gonna be too afraid of the water. Look at this. This is so good. All right, I bet I can make them go all the way across. You know what's gonna be a really interesting experiment though is the farm bot because he damages things when he walks on them in certain ways. So he might just literally destroy the bridge as he walks across it. I think these guys are going to make it with me. Oh, Joe, careful. They're getting close to the edge. Oh, no, no, no. Stop. Don't stop. We're almost there. We're almost there. Come on, guys. <gasps> yes. We made it. As a team, we made it. Is one of you guys Hank? One of you guys Hank? Did you miss me? Oh, no. Okay, never mind. That's how you want to be. Sorry. All right. Now it's time to do the farm bot. And I'm really going to have to prepare myself for the farm bot because this guy, he might destroy the ramps as he comes up on this thing. All right. Place your bets now. Is he actually going to get onto the bridge or is he just going to destroy this thing and then fall on the water eventually? He's probably going to fall on the water. I'm over here. Oh boy. Here he comes. Moment of truth. Oh, he's on. Is he doing damage? It looks like he's doing damage, but the tier three wood, I think is actually pretty durable. So there's a low chance he'll actually cause uh, any actual destruction. But you can see, and you can even hear, if I turn the volume up, you can hear the impact of his walking. Oh, what are you doing? Even just standing on it, it makes impact noises. Is it actually doing damage though? Because the bubble block, I feel like should be getting destroyed because the bubble block is super low durability. <gasps> go, go, go. 
That's weird. It's weird that it's making those noises and giving those visual uh, particles, but it doesn't actually seem to do any damage. Hmm. You know what? Let's let him attack me on there and see if he damages the bridge. I think that's the only the only solution to figure out if this if this bridge is glitched out and not taking damage, or if it's just his walking is fake. It's fake damage. All right, try to get me now. <laughs> <laughs> he just won't- look at that! What is he doing? Is he even gonna- Is he even gonna hurt me? Okay. Oh, okay. Does he even have weight? I don't think he affects the bridge. Huh. I don't think- Oh wait, does he? Oh boy. He doesn't seem to care- The bridge doesn't seem affected by his attacks on me at least. All right here, I kind of want to move this off. Oh, excuse me. Oh, now we both fell in the water. Look what you've done. You know what? I guess here's a test. Let's uh, put up a wall. If he lets me. Oh my goodness, this guy. There we go. Get through this. Let's see it get through this thing. Is he going to be able to do it? He's hitting it. All right, something's definitely wrong here. Something is definitely wrong here. He can't damage anything. The durability of this is literally one. I can shoot it with a spud gun and destroy it. But this guy can't seem to do it. I'm sorry, the game hasn't been fair to you, Farmbot. But, wait, did you just destroy something, finally? Wait, what? What? Out of what? What? All of a sudden? He can't do the bubble block, and then he takes out that giant section of tier 3 wood? I am so confused. I was just gonna kill you. I was just gonna kill you and put, it, put you out of your misery. You know what? I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Okay, uh, well that was definitely interesting. That was not what I was expecting. But the concept, the idea, it worked great. It got us from one side of the canal to the other in a vehicle with no problems, arguably no problems at all. And it feels like an actual floating bridge when we go across it. And bots can go across it. This is a multifunctional bridge. So let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. And if you have any other crazy ideas you'd like to see on the channel, leave those down there as well. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can find here on the end screen. Don't forget to check out the merch store if you want to help support the channel. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.